This is 1 Peter chapter 4 and verse 12. Beloved, think it not strange concerning the fiery trial, which is to try you, as though some strange thing happened unto you. Call Halal Yahweh, Bah Hashem Yahweh Shai, Waha Raka Quidash, double honor to the apostles and elders of the great millstone, the men who taught me this truth. Also, peace and blessings to my fellow yokesmen, the hopeful elect that continue in the work of our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai. Also, to the brothers and sisters that continue to believe upon the names Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai, and all fear shall want. Lord willing, this lesson will be edifying. This is First Peter chapter 4 and verse 12 again. Beloved, and that is talking to those that have been called into this truth. Think it not strange concerning the fiery trial, which is to try you. Once you put your hand to the plow, the scripture tells us in Ecclesiasticus chapter 2, verse 1, and it reads, My son, if thou come to serve the Lord, prepare thy soul for temptation. So those that have been called to do the work of Yahweh Shai, if you are sincerely serving Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, prepare your soul for temptation. Prepare your soul for the fiery trials that's going to come upon you. Back to the book of 1 Peter 4 and 12, Beloved, think it not strange concerning the fiery trial, which is to try you. So the scripture Strictly warns us, if you come to serve Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, sincerely within your spirit, fiery trials are going to come. It says, prepare thy soul for temptations. Okay? Meaning they are going to come. So it says, beloved, thinking that screens concerning the fiery trial, which is to try you. And those fiery trials are meant to try you. All right? Usually fire tries anything. And we being tried here in this captivity that we're living in, here in this body that we're living in we want to pass the test which is those fiery trials because they are meant to see what you're made of to test your faith it says as as though some strange thing happened unto you yeah something happened to you out of the blue just an hour ago everything was going fine and all of a sudden an hour later your world is turned upside down those are those strange things that happen unto you Regardless of what it may be, you know, a flat tire, okay, you becoming homeless, you know, et cetera, et cetera. Anything that is meant to try you, all right, to test your faith, all right, because even two thirds in the world, as the scripture tells us in Corinthians, first Corinthians chapter 10 and verse 13, it tells us, it says, there have no temptation, meaning those fiery trials, taking you, but such as is common to man, meaning two-thirds in the world um, reap, uh, reap fiery trials too. They go through fiery trials too. By us being in this truth, all right, we want to be made out of uh, silver and gold, whereas a two-third in the world, they're made out of hay and stubble. So when those fiery trials touch upon them, they're consumed by the fire. But we don't want to be consumed. We want to be a part of the gold and the silver, which when those fiery trials try us or touch us, all right, we come out whole. We come out purified. It says, but the Most High is faithful, who will not suffer you to be tempted above that ye are able. So all of the fiery trials that the Most High bring upon you through Yahweh Shai, he know your limit. He's not going to push you uh, to the edge. It says, but will, with the temptation, also make a way to escape that ye may be able to bear it. And that's the balance of the Most High. All right? Speaking from past experience myself, the Most High will put you uh, in the frying pan, so to speak, and turn up the heat. But the Most High know how much heat to turn up upon you because too much will consume you. But the Most High is only doing that to try you, to test your faith, to build your character, to build your faith within him. 
You know, uh, the book of Romans, chapter 5, speaks of that. Romans 5. And I'm going to go straight to the point. It says, Romans 5 and 3, And not only so, but we glory in tribulations also, knowing that tribulations work of patience, and patience experience, and experience hope. See that? Verse 5, And hope maketh not a shame, because the love of the Most High is shed abroad in your hearts by the Holy Spirit, which is given unto us. All right? So, by us having those fiery trials put upon us, and we make it through those fiery trials, we come out on the other side whole, that what? Uh, builds our hope. And that hope that is being built by us being rooted and in, 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 uh, uh, grounded in the faith of Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, that hope is not going to make us ashamed. All right? We're going to have a covering, you know? So, let's jump back to 1 Corinthians 10 and 13 again, there have no temptation taken you, but such as is common to man. But the Most High is faithful, who will not suffer you to be tempted above that ye are able, but will with the temptation also make a way to escape that ye may be able to bear it. See that? And that's the beautiful balance of Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, because he have chosen us being the hopeful elect. As the scripture says in Isaiah 48 and verse 10. He have chosen us in the furnace of adversity. All right. Isaiah 48 and 10. It says, Behold, I have refined thee, but not with silver. To be refined is to be purified, to get all of the dross, the impurities off of you. It says, Behold, behold means look or see. I have refined thee. And thee are um, the beloved, those that have been called to, to this ministry, called to do the work of Yahweh Shai. But, when, but not with silver, meaning you're not going to be refined as gold and silver is being refined by actually going through a physical fiery furnace. But it says, I have chosen thee in the furnace of affliction. So afflictions, temptations, fiery trials throughout your 24-hour period shall come upon you if you're sincerely serving Yahweh while Yahweh shot. But the Most High have chosen that way, all right, so he could test you. He could ground you. He can root you in faith, okay, to build your faith. See that? Um, the book of, back to First Peter, okay, chapter 4, and verse 12 again, it says, Beloved, think it not strange concerning the fiery trial, which is to try you, as though some strange thing happened unto you, Verse 13, but rejoice. That what Romans 5 told us. All right, we also rejoice in tribulations. I says, but rejoice in as much as ye are partakers of Hamashiach's suffering. That's why we should rejoice when we catch in hell. Okay, it's easier said than done, but we should rejoice when we catch in hell because we are partakers or being made partakers of Hamashiach's suffering. And the sufferings that we go through here in, in our little 24-hour period, it is not compared to the suffering of Yahweh Shai. It says that when his glory shall be revealed, ye may be glad also with exceeding joy. Why? Because you have been made partakers of the suffering of Yahweh Shai. And if we endure unto the end throughout those sufferings, okay, we're going to be what? Counted worthy. That's the book of Romans Chapter 12, so like, um, Hebrews, chapter 12, and in verse 2, it says, Looking unto Yahweh Shah, the author and finisher of our faith. So Yahweh Shah is the author and the finisher. He is the, 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 the victor. He have prevailed. He have carried off the victory. It says, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and is set down at the right hand of the throne of the Most High. So when we're going through our fiery trials, we must what? Consider Yahweh Shai. Because there is nothing we could face that Yahweh Shai have already done and conquered. Okay, verse 3, it says, for consider him that endured such, such contradiction of sinners against himself, Lest ye be weary and faint in your own minds. That's right. So when we're going through our fiery trials, don't be weary and faint in your own mind. Consider the things that Yahweh Shah went through. 
it says, ye have not resisted unto blood scribing against sin. See that? So the things that you're going through, the fiery trials that the Most High is putting upon you, you have not resisted unto blood scribing against sin, meaning you have not uh, physically been hung upon a cross and your blood has not been shed. Okay? So the things that we're going through, we got to count it worthy to receive uh, 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 the, the glory or, or, or be uh, uh, what uh, may join heirs. Uh, Romans 8 and verse 16. And it says, It says, The Spirit itself bears witness with our spirit that we are children of the Most High, and if children, then heirs. Heirs of the Most High and joint heirs with Hamashiach. If so be that we suffer with him, that we may be also glorified together. So coming into this truth, all right, just like Yahweh Shai did, we must suffer. All right, because uh, the servant is not greater than his Lord. We are not greater than Yahweh Shai. So we must take upon those sufferings too. And we are just really taking upon our cross and following Yahweh Shai daily. Right? And there's no easy way to take upon a cross. Verse 18, it says, For I reckon that the sufferings of this present time, and this is the mindset that we must be in, for I reckon that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us. All right? So the, the sufferings that we're going through right now is not compatible to the glory that we shall um, uh, uh, receive, which is eternal life. Okay? Reigning with Yahweh Shai. All right, having our enemy put up under our feet, meaning us being in rulership, that's worthy for the sufferings that we're going through right now. See that? Back to the book of Sirach, chapter 2, and verse 2, it says, Set thine heart, meaning your mind, aright, and constantly endure, and make not haste in the time of trouble. All right, that means when it says constantly endure, meaning something's always going to be going on regardless all right but it says and make not haste in the time of trouble and we're going into the time of trouble pursuing the jeremiah 30 and 7 the ultimate time of trouble is the time of jacob's trouble for us it says cleave unto him and this is what we must do cleave unto him and depart not away that thou mayest be increased at thy last end meaning endure unto the end so you're going to receive salvation it says whatsoever is brought upon thee take cheerfully and be patient when thou art changed to a low estate. All right, whatsoever is brought upon thee, take cheerfully, meaning uh, take it with a coke and a smile and continue to do the work and praise Yahweh while Yahweh shy. All right, if it's in his will for those fiery trials. All right, like the scripture says, rejoice in tribulations also. It says, and be patient. Patient really means suffering when thou art changed to a low estate. And we are already in a low estate, being at the bottom here in America. Or being at the bottom in the world, period, when really we're supposed to be on the top. All right, so we must suffer that. Because guess what? Our salvation is on the way. It says, verse 5, for gold. So we want to be uh, compatible to gold. And that's silver, which are the precious metals. All right, which is the elect. It says, for gold is tried in the fire. All right, and uh, literal gold is tried in a fiery furnace. To get the what impurities off of it, and that's the same way that the Most High have set it up for us. We have been chosen in the furnace of affliction. All right, it says, "For gold is tried in the fire, and acceptable men in the furnace of adversity." So we are also chosen uh, to go through the furnace of adversity. But if we make it through that furnace, make it to the other side of that furnace, where we come out whole, we come out dross free, meaning we are going to be accepted. By our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai. All right, so Lord willing, I pray that this made sense. Call Halal, Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Waha, Raka, Quidash, double honor to the apostles and elders of the great millstone. Peace and blessings to the hopeful elect, DTA, Wa, Abba, Babal.